We are going to dig into the builders to see how the graft went. Carrie is into our breeder to find some larvae. Whoa. Those guys aren't happy. I'll just kind of hide from them. But we're going to dig into the builder here. Now I want to see what this graft looks like. This is the first graft, so sometimes the first one's a bit of a challenge as we get things up and running. We have a heavy pollen flow. We don't have any nectar coming in yet. They are on the patty. That's nice to see. Load to pollen. If there's anything, these colonies are becoming pollen bound, which is kind of frustrating. But they have a lot of protein to work with. How's the level of sugar in there? Uh, it's sitting about right here. Oh yeah. So they've only taken it down about an inch and a half. Lots of bees in here. We'll just take a peek and see what the acceptance is. I went and lost Carrie's flashlight, so she was using her cell phone to find the larvae. These guys aren't very happy either. I don't see too many blanks there. Not seeing any. So that is a hundred percent. Not too bad for a first graft. So that looks good. Let's take a look into that first builder. Let me just take a peek here. So if you see what's going on. Boy, they're sure drawing out the wax. These bees are motivated. It's pretty obvious which cells are accepted. This is 24 hours after graft. And they've just nicely pulled down the wax and they're just starting to freshen up the cells with some nice real jelly. We'll check them tomorrow maybe, probably not check them tomorrow, but when, if we were to check them tomorrow, that real jelly will start to be pulled down within the cells. We try to leave the builders alone as much as we can. Least amount of disturbance is the best. We need some nectar flow to get these guys in a happy mood. They're not short on bees anyway. So that's good. Take a look at this next builder. So I plan on boosting. There's a little builder going on over there. We never finished that one, so I'm gonna finish that one. I'm gonna add two more to this line so we can do at, what is this? Today is, what's today? Yesterday is Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So you did this Monday, so that Tuesday, then Wednesday and Thursday, we're gonna do three graft frames just because we have a little bit of demand. They're not as populated. These guys could use a shake of bees by the looks of it. They might have drifted to another colony. But we'll take a look to see how they're doing. I'll maybe give them a boost today. We'll see what the graft frame looks like. I don't have as many bees on the frame, but well, there's enough bees there. So that's 27 out of 30. All right, so that's good. That's an excellent start. So we have 57 cells, right? 
57 that it will be ready in nine days. So that's off to a real good start. Are you making out? I gotta give you Joe May's uh, crafting tools. Is that light working for you? I wonder if his would have a lid. I wonder if his would have a ledge. That's what the issue that I've had with these is that they've got a ledge on the... A ledge? What does that mean? Like too wide? Uh, no, w wideness isn't the issue. It's the lip's got a bit of a ledge that you have to get the larvae over. Oh, in order to, here, yeah. I'm going to go find them. Do, 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 do. Don't crush that. That's from Joe May. Got three of them here, so you can try them out and see. So that's what you mean? I guess you'll find well, them. Yeah, it's, it's kind of have to see them first. He's yeah, he's sanded them down or something. Yeah, it looks like he's gotten rid of that little ledge. Give that a try anyways. Uh, which ones are done? These ones? Yeah. And then work on these ones. Boy, that tray is a neat little trick. Super cool. Well, I better go see if the crew's still working. Good luck.